hello everyone and welcome back today we are making seafood banga soup so keep watching if you want to see how i made this it is very easy to begin you want to wash the banga seeds place it in a pot add water and cover for it to cook until it is done next we are going to blend the spices this one is called irujeje please pardon my pronunciation you will also need a taiko also known as olima seed i don't have the seed but i have it in the grounded form next is the banga stick and the banga leaf just tell those women that sell banga spices to give you banga spice okay this one is called bafilo i'm going to heat it with this object so the shell can fall off we need the seed not the shell so throughout the shell blend this together and set it aside if you don't have all of these spices individually you can also use the sachet banga spice that you buy from the market that one is already grounded so you don't have to go through this process with that one My seafood of choice for this soup is fresh catfish, red snapper, lobster tail and some shrimps but you can use any seafood that you prefer. So now these have been cleaned already, next I am going to season them to marinate. First thing is some of the pepper soup spice that we just blended, add some of that. Next I'll add some Cameroon pepper for heat, a bit of seasoning and some salt. Be careful with salt when you're making seafood because they get salty really quick. So once I add all of this, I'm going to rub them in really well with my hand and then cover to marinate while I get to other things. Today's hog is for Nkirun Kechi you're watching from Ghana. I'm glad you love the recipes. Please let me know where you're watching from so I can send you a hog in my next video. For the rest of the ingredients, you need some crayfish, scotch bonnet pepper and some onion which I'm going to blend together and set aside. So at this point, I'm going to check on the palm knot. Once the flesh rub off easily, you know it is done. So now I'm going to drain out the water and pound it. So the traditional way we do this is to pour this into a mortar and pound while it is still hot. But since I don't have a mortar, I'm going to do this in my pot with this wooden object. And it got the job done, yes. Once you see it like this, you're going to now start rinsing with warm water. This is to get the pulp from the seed. Once you're done with that, you're going to drain this through a sieve and set it aside. So now I'm going to add some of that pulp into my cooking pot and then cover it halfway through so it can come to a boil. You don't want to cover it all the way so it doesn't boil over. Meanwhile our fish is well marinated now, it's been sitting for well over 30 minutes. So I'm going to parboil this with a little bit of water for just 4 minutes. I'm not going to add the shrimp now, I'll add the shrimp later. So at this point, I check on the palm nut juice again. It is boiling and you can see some oil on the top already. So add the banga stick, the blended pepper, onions and crayfish, the remaining banga spice, some seasoning cube and a little bit of salt. Give this a gentle stir and then continue cooking. Four minutes later, I'll take this off the heat and set it aside. So again, I check on the soup. It's been simmering for a while and as you can see, it is looking thicker now. So at this point, I'm going to add the parboiled fish and the lobster tail. I'm also going to add some of the juice from the fish and the banga leaf. Now I'm going to let this simmer for about 5 minutes before I come back and add the shrimp. So at this point, I check on the soup again and you guys, as soon as I open that pot, ah! I was satisfied so I've added the shrimp I'm going to cover again for another two three minutes and you guys this soup is ready I'm not going to make it so thick at this point because when I want to eat it I'm going to warm it in my black native pot and then it can become thicker enjoy this with starch pounded yam fufu and you will love it thank you so much for watching see you in my next one